Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe the channel. Today, in this video, we will learn how to add beautiful content to our pages in WordPress dashboard. For that, we will first of all go to our pages section where we have created pages in our previous video and we also added some content to our pages. So, now today we will add beautiful content and will set the layout design in our page. First, I will click on edit button of home page because I want to add content to home page. Here you can see this is the content that I already added, and here I added table, pictures, and calendar. So now we will add another content. For that, I will click on add block. I will click on browse all so that I can see all the sections that I can apply on my website. First of all, I will add a separator. So you can see separator is added. I can make it double or full width line center. Here you can see separator is added. So again, I will click on add button and browse all this time i want to add gallery and i click on gallery and here i can add media so you can add media according to your choice i will add media from my content i, I want to upload these three pictures on as a media here you can see these three pictures will show here as a gallery so somehow this design looks messy but i will teach you later how we can make a professional website now i just want that you should learn that how you can add different content in a page that's how i am adding different content one by one as you can see these three images are added in our gallery section now i will click on browser so that i can add more content here you can see i can add video also so if i click on video and tag to the box where i want to add video now you can insert the url if you have a video on youtube so you can simply copy that url and paste here if you have media library you can simply add here so I want to upload from my computer. So I click on upload. Here you can see videos are available. So I will simply click on this, which I want to add on. Here you can see video is added. Whenever you want to listen, you simply can click on this and the video will run on your page. So after that, we can add different more things for that we will click on browser and here you can see we already added image we already added video we already added gallery and now we can add file so that someone can download our file let me show you when you paste when you paste the file it asks to upload from your computer if you want to add picture or PDF file, you simply add it. People will download it. I want to add picture, so simply open it. Here you can see logo white one and it automatically gives the download button. When I update this, let me show you in the live page. I will open this page and new tab so that we can see the live changes accordingly. We added here a calendar, then we added it to Gallery with three images, then we added a video and we click on video. And similarly, here you can see image is added. And if you want to download this image or anything, you simply click on this. If you have added PDF, you can simply add it. When people click on download, it will download automatically. Here you can see by just click and move on download the picture is downloaded so now we will add some other content click on browser 
Here you can see audio is remaining. Same audio will work like video. We simply have to upload the audio so that people can listen that. We can also add buttons, columns, rows so that we can make different design. Let me show you first. I will add column. Here you can see it is asking how I want the column. Only one column, two columns, or two columns with 30% and 70%. First, 70%, then 30% are three columns. Are three columns with 150% and other two are 25%. I will add uh, this column 30% and 70%. When you simply click on this, it will automatically add. Here you can see this is added 30% and 70%. Now we can add different content to these two columns accordingly. And first of all, I will click on add block and I will click on browser so that I can add different thing. Here I can add anything. So I will select social icon simple. I open this and block this. And now I will click on plus so that I can add social links. So simple. I will click on browser so that I can see. First of all, I will add Facebook. Facebook is added. Now I will click on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram is also added. And now Twitter is also added. YouTube is also added. Will at the end this is by just click on one social icon, it will automatically add to your site. Here you can see these four social icons are added. In the right side, I want to add some text. So I will click on this plus icon and simple I will click on paragraph. Paragraph is added. So I can write it anything. I will copy this dummy content to paste there so that I don't have to write again. I simply copied this dummy content and I paste command to paste here. Here you can see I pasted the dummy content and I hit the update button and refresh the page so that I can see the changes how my page is looking now. Here you can see this dummy content is added, but this social icon is not available because i didn't add url there when i give the url then these social icons will be available see let me show you i will write the url facebook facebook.com and click on this supply it means that facebook has applied you can see this is clear and while other these three are somehow dim it means that these are not clear and link is not attached to them so we will again attach link to them instagram.com you will have to add your url of facebook id instagram id twitter id so that people when click on this url they can visit your social media platform so I will add it here on Twitter. You can see Twitter is added. Now I will click here YouTube setting. YouTube.com and here you can get these all are bright now. It means that all have been to now. So we just click on update button and we will refresh the page. As you can see these links are available when i click on them it will redirect me to their official website because i added their urls so when i click on twitter or youtube and clicking on youtube where you can see it redirected me to youtube.com i hope you have learned that how you can add different content to your page so this was the video that uh, shows how you can add the content to your website and in our upcoming video i will uh, in our upcoming video i will teach you another thing about wordpress so stay connected with me thank you bye bye take care